الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless you forgive us and forgive you and bless us all with ikhlas with thabat upon the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and from the sweetness of faith as the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal thalathun min kunna fihi wajida halawat al-iman an yukun allahu wa rasooluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ahabbu ilayhi mimma siwahuma wa an yuhibbu al-mar'u al-mar'a al-mar'a la yuhibbuhu illa lillahi وَأَنْ يَقْرَهُ يَقْرَهَا أَنْ يَعُودَ فِي الْكُفْرِ كَمَا يَقْرَهُ أَنْ يُقْذَفَ فِي النَّارِ This hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari in the book of Iman, the chapter of Iman. Imam Bukhari entitled this chapter Halawat al-Iman. Halawa, Halawat al-Iman. The sweetness of faith. Letting us know that from Iman and from the Ladha to the Iman, the, 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 the sweetness, the fruits, that which is tasty, that which is one is experiencing the joy and the benefit of Iman, that the evidence for this are these characteristics that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned. The hadith of Anas radiallahu ta'anu, he said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever possesses the following three qualities will have the sweetness of Iman. So that delight of Iman, showing that a person has tasted some of the sweetness of Iman, is that they contain these three characteristics. The first, the one to whom Allah Azza wa Jal and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam become dearer than anything else. So again, it's that love of Allah Azza wa Jal and His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam more than anything else in this world. That's from the sweetness of Iman. The second, who loves a person and he loves him only for the sake of Allah. He didn't love him or her because of their race. He didn't love him or her because of their beauty. He didn't love him or her because of their wealth or their status, but strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That they see someone, they meet someone who is from Ahli Iman and they love them for no other reason except that this person is a person for Ahli Iman. Have the halawat al Iman. That's the sweetness of faith that we want to gain. When you, when you meet someone, if you've ever had this experience, where you see someone, I've traveled and I've seen people who I, I had this kind of love for them. We didn't share a, a, a similar language. Our culture was different. But they had characteristics and I love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that, those sifat. Sometimes it may be an old man just reading Qur'an and you see him constantly reading Qur'an and struggling to go to the masjid and he's there before everyone, every day. You may love that person strictly for the sake of Allah, Azza wa Jal. Maybe perhaps it's a brother who spends his time cleaning the masjid. I recall a brother, Allah Yarhamahu. In fact, I can think of two that died. And what they were known for is they were cleaning the masjid. That's what they did, and you loved them. You never met them except they had a smile. You never met them except that they were doing a good deed by cleaning the masjid and preparing while everyone was making a mess in the wudu station, in the bathroom, in the toilets, and they were always vacuuming. They were always cleaning. That wasn't their job. 
But they were doing it to please Allah Azza wa Jal bi idnillah ta'ala. One of them, I'll mention him, Allah yarhamuhu, when I first became Muslim, a brother, he was originally Pakistani in origin. And we loved each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He used to help me outside. He was a computer, uh, you know, into electronics and, and things like this. And he helped me. To, I remember a video editor. Back then it was videotapes. And he helped me do some things outside. And I also had a key to the masjid. And I remember he had a kidney stone remove, removed. And it was just meant for him after that. His family, everyone was upbeat. He was going to recover. We went to see. I didn't even know it was him in the hospital. We went for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to visit one of the brothers we heard were sick. And it was him. And he said, everything's going to be okay, Brother Khalid. I remember his wife came. Oh, Brother Khalid, uh, uh, he, you know, he's doing great. The doctor says the end of the week. And I said, I'm going to come back and see you. Unfortunately, I didn't make it back. And then the next news I heard within a week, he had passed. That's a person you may love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or sometimes you see those from the ulama and the people of Ahl al-Khair and you love them for no other reason except for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. That's from the halawa to iman. The third characteristic the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in this hadith, he said, he who hates to revert to atheism or disbelief as he hates to be thrown into the fire. <coughs> That's from Iman. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the context of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this hadith was dealing with the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala'inu manjma'in who radiyallahu ta'ala'inu manjma'in were new to Islam. So they had tasted their jahiliyyah prior to Islam and they had come into the faith of Iman and Islam. They had come to is Islam with Iman with Ihsan. Radiallahu ta'ala'inu majma'een. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave them the, the, the glad tidings and gave them the signs of Ahli Iman by saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that part of the sweetness of faith is that you hate, you detest to go to disbelief. So look at yourselves and look at how your relationship is with your Muslim brothers and how you are with Iman. And do you love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do you uh, disdain returning to disbelief for those who have embraced Islam, who know both lifestyles? Do you disdain? Is that one of the most severe things that you could imagine? For me, I know that is. I can't imagine. I don't even... I can't con conceive it, how it would destroy me. I, I, I couldn't do, I know people have apostate. I know lots of reverts, and I know people who were born Muslim, lots of them, who reverted. And some of them, they smile, and they do this, and they, and I, I couldn't do that. Allah didn't allow me to do that. I can't imagine, even if I go into many sins, I can't imagine leaving Iman totally. And, and ever holding my head up on anything. To leave knowing something of Tawheed, to know that there's only one God worthy of worship, and that everything, any other worship is false. I, I can't imagine that. So that is something from the sweetness of Iman that we want to attain. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And the last point I want to mention, Loving Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than anything, that also includes loving what they love. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves those things He commands in the Quran. He loves the purified. He loves the, the people who pray. He loves uh, Ahl Iman. He loves those who make tawakkul on Him, who trust in Him. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam loved many things. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he loved his sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. Allahumma inni yas'alaka hubbuk wa hubbu man yuhubbuk wa hubbu li kulli amalin ballaghani hubbuk. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.